Welcome to practice 77. Practice today is static, mostly ta. Inspiration is gratitude. Um, of the words that I've found over the years that have the most uh, potency, obviously gravity and grace are two words that I use a lot and have based in a way this system of yoga on uh, gravity and grace. And ironically, this third word that, that I think is almost equally powerful is the word gratitude. And what is it about gratitude that's powerful? It's in a way a psychological healer. It's when our minds are disturbed by things that um, are challenging or things that we grieve. And gratitude is this uh, energy that allows us to soften into that, in a way, sorrow, that, that uh, somewhat negative emotion and recognize the gifts that have been provided in this life. And as small as they can be at times, that shift into gratitude creates this stabilizing force, this balancing force in our bodies psychologically. And obviously the psychological balance is an important component of physical balance. They're in, almost in a way inseparable. So on a practice today where we're gonna hold poses a little longer than usual, there are gonna be a little bit softer poses, not, not uh, heating poses. But in these moments where you're confronting, let's say, resistance in your body, what is it in that experience that you can be grateful for? Literally, if it's just that you have the ability to feel discomfort in your body, that might be a start. All right, let's start in child's pose. Knees together, feet together.